Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Luan Loud from the Loud House. Let's get started in the center of our page with the left eye. So I'm going to draw an oval starting from the top, circle around to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now just over towards the right I want to add in the nose. So we start at the base of the nose, curving up, and then just hooking that back. Now we're going to layer the right eye in behind the nose. Starting up here on the inside edge of the left eye, I'm going to draw an oval circling around. And we're going to pull this in behind the nose and just close it in on the inside, just above the nose here. On the inside, we're going to draw on the pupil. So on the left side, we're going to draw an oval. And we'll fill that in black. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Just above the eyes, we're going to add in the eyebrow. So on the left side, we're going to curve up and in the same thing on the right. Now on the sides of the eye, we want to add the eyelashes. We're just going to do one curve going up. We're going to step down and just curve outwards. We'll do the same thing on the right. Just below the eyes, we're going to add in the mouth. So we're going to start on the left side edge of the eye. We're going to curve down in the middle and then back up on the right. Now we're going to connect those two points with a half circle, starting on the left. Now let's tuck the teeth in underneath the top lip. So it's basically another half circle starting on the left. We'll curve down and then back up. We're going to draw a line just down the center to split the teeth. Now on either side we're going to draw a rectangle for the braces. Just a tiny rectangle on the left and one on the right. And then in behind the rectangles we're going to draw a straight line going across from left to right. On the bottom left edge we're going to add in the tongue. So starting on the outside we're going to curve up and then down. Let's fill the inside part of the mouth in black. Let's move over towards the left and draw on the ear. So we're going to start just down here and draw a circle with an open end on the inside. Let's draw in the inner ear detail. So stepping down, we're going to draw a little hook coming down. And we draw a little C at the end. Now on top of the ear, we're going to draw on the top of the head, curving around and then coming down just beside the right eye. So it's almost like a big circle. Going up towards the top of the head. And then we're just going to pull that down just beside the right eye. We're going to go back down towards the bottom of the earlobe, curve around just below the mouth, go out towards the cheek, and then back in towards this point. Now we can go in and add in the hair. So we're going to start in the corner of the ear. We're going to curve up and in towards the eye. Now we're going to curve around and then down and towards the middle, widow's peak. We're going to take that same point, curve up over the right eye and then down towards the side of the head. Now we're going to add some hair strands going up from the center. So in the middle, we're going to curve up and out towards the right, just past the head. We do that one more time, stepping down towards the bottom curving up and out. Let's add some hair strands on this side here. So from the center, we're just going to curve up and out towards the left. We're going to draw that one more time. And then on the right, in between this hair and the forehead, draw one more curve. On the side of the head, we're going to add a little scrunchie. So it's basically a series of little loops that go around the head. Starting at the top, we're just going to loop around. And we'll just continue this pattern all the way around back in towards the head. Now we can tuck the ponytail in behind the scrunchie. Starting from the top, we're going to curve up, curve down, and we're going to curl around the end, just curling it back. We're going to take the side of that curl, just curve in behind the head. Let's add a little bit of hair texture on the side here. So on the side, we're just going to curve in, go across, and then we'll curve back in. Now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start with the neck first. So on either side, I'm just going to draw two lines coming down. We're going to go a little bit wider along the base of the neck. I'm going to close it off with a straight line. Now up along the top, I just want to add some shading. So we're just going to draw a short straight line going across. We're going to do that two more times, leaving a little gap in between. And then fill in the top area of black. On the right side of this corner, we're going to add a flower. So starting on the corner, we're just going to draw a loop. We're going to draw this five times coming down, over towards the right just make our way back towards the corner of the neck. In the middle, we're just going to add a little oval. 
Now we can go ahead and tuck the body in behind that flower. Starting from the corner of the neck on the left side, we're just gonna curve down and then just pull it out towards the left. At the base of the flower, we're just gonna curve out and just taper it outward so it gets wider at the bottom of the skirt. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a straight line. We're gonna move up and just draw another straight line for the waist. Let's add that checker pattern in the skirt. So we're gonna start in the middle, just pull a straight line coming down. On the left, we'll draw another straight line. And then the same thing on the right. We're gonna go across in a horizontal pattern, just drawing a straight line going across with an even space all the way across. Let's continue working down with the legs. So we're gonna start in the middle here, draw a straight line coming down the center. On the left side, we're gonna go over, just curve out and then down towards the ankle. So it gets a little bit wider at the bottom of the leg. Cap off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the right side, but we wanna go a little bit higher than the left. So curving out towards the right and then down to there. Draw a straight line going across. Let's add the top of the socks. So on the left side, we'll draw one straight line. On the right, we're gonna step up and draw another straight line. We add some vertical lines in the socks. Starting on the left side, we'll draw one in the middle, one on the left, and then one on the right. Let's do the same thing on the right side. One down the middle, one on the left, and then one on the right. Now before we draw on the shoes, I wanna add the little flowers on top of the shoe. So from this corner of the left foot, I'm gonna curve around, we draw four petals on this flower. One more on the end, draw a little circle in the center. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the corner, draw one petal, two, three, and then four. And we'll add that little circle in the center. From the bottom right corner of the leg, we're gonna curve out the heel, and then just curve the bottom of the foot going over towards the toe. I'm gonna round out the toe and then come in towards the side of the flower. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're gonna start the heel on the left side, curve the bottom of the foot, round up the toe, and then just pull that in behind the flower. Below the flower, we're just gonna add two angled lines coming down to the bottom of the foot. On the right, we'll go in the opposite direction. We're gonna finish this off with the arm. So on the left side here, I'm gonna start at the shoulder, just curve out, and then down towards the palm. From here, we're just gonna draw a little curve for the palm. Now I'm gonna curl the fingers out towards the left. Starting here, we're gonna curve out. We'll round out the finger and then just pull that back. We're gonna go back to the tip of the finger, do another curve, and then we'll do one more and just tuck this in behind the skirt. On the right side, you just can see the top edge of the arm. So starting underneath the flower, we'll just curve around and then blend into the side of the body. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Luan Loud from the Loud House. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.